Good afternoon, Chairman Fleming, Ranking Member Sablon, and members of the subcommittee. Thank you for inviting me here today to speak about H.R. 2706, the Billfish Conservation Act of 2011, and how the United States can take a leadership role in improving their conservation for the benefit of U.S. fishermen and the U.S. economy. My name is Jason Schrautweiser, and I'm the Conservation Director for the International Game Fish Association. The IGFA is a nonprofit organization founded in 1939 that represents recreational anglers throughout the world. IGFA has active members in over 100 countries and is a governing body for international recreational fishing. The core of our membership is thousands of offshore anglers who catch and release billfish and are very supportive of this bill. Marlin, sailfish, and spearfish, collectively termed billfish, are open ocean apex predators that can be, in many ways, be compared to lions, bears, and tigers on land. I would like to point out, as Mr. Schwab said before, that swordfish are not being considered in this bill and are being managed better in some areas. Like their terrestrial counterparts, billfish are far less abundant than the prey species they feed on, and they play a critical role in keeping the natural balance in the respective ecosystems. Besides having an important ecological role in the wild, billfish support vibrant recreational catch and release fisheries that yield significant economic benefits, both in the United States and abroad. A study published in 2003 found that U.S. billfish anglers spend more than many other anglers. Direct and indirect expenditures from billfishing total more than $204 million annually for the Atlantic seaboard alone. On the east coast of the U.S., the National Marine Fishery Service issued permits for more than 175 tournaments in 2011. These tournaments bring in millions through local economies, through hotel and restaurant sales and taxes, fishing charters, registration fees, fuel, fuel sales, and tourist attractions. Though billfish are typically not a target species in most commercial fisheries, they are frequently caught as bycatch and longline and purse gear intended for tuna and swordfish. The United States carefully regulates billfish har harvest in its domestic fisheries and has prohibited the commercial harvest and sale of Atlantic billfish for over two decades. Most billfish caught by recreational anglers are released, and the entire Atlantic recreational fishery is limited to 250 marlin each year. Commercial anglers are also prohibited from possessing striped marlin on the west coast of the continental U.S. In the Pacific, U.S. commercial fisheries harvest billfish in Hawaii and adjacent island territories. Here, billfish are managed through the Western Pacific Fisheries Management Council, according to the standards set by the Magnuson-Stevens Fishery Conservation and Management Act. Unfortunately, billfish are not being managed well, if at all, elsewhere. In 2011, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature published the first ever global assessment of all billfish species. The report found that blue and white marlin met the criteria to list them as vulnerable to extinction and striped marlin were considered to be near threatened with extinction. I want to emphasize that billfish are a highly migratory species. IGFA tagging initiatives have shown they are capable of traveling over 4,700 miles in just 120 days. This means the billfish that are being harvested and sold to the U.S. by foreign countries are, in essence, our fish too. Even though the United States man manages the domestic harvest of billfish reasonably well, we are still part of the global problem. In 2000, 2007, the IGFA commissioned a study to evaluate international billfish harvest and trade. The results of this study found the United States is the world's largest importer of billfish. The top five biggest exporters to the United States by rank are Costa Rica, Ecuador, Vietnam, South Korea, and Philippines. According to our FDA, this totals some 1,335 metric tons annually, or approximately 30,000 fish. The excessive harvest of billfish from foreign countries, especially those in Central America, have very real negative impacts to not only our domestic fisheries, but for U.S. anglers who spend money on tackle and airfare to travel to fish for billfish in other countries. The IGFA, IGFA report on billfish trade also found that the legal sale of Pacific caught billfish creates a black market, which allows Atlantic caught billfish to enter the United States. Thus, it is clear that importation from foreign countries is the problem, but it is something that cannot be fixed within our domestic fisheries management process. H.R. 2706 will ban the sale of billfish in the continental United States and would thus halt importation of billfish from foreign countries. This will eliminate a sizable market for exporting countries and will close the black market for Atlantic billfish. 
It will also strengthen the United States' position to enact better internal international measures to conserve billfish in the Pacific. The U.S. is a big player in Pacific Regional Fisheries Management Organization that manage highly migratory species. Our delegations will be far better positioned to seek to improve conservation in other nations when we are no longer importing more of these fish than other countries. We simply cannot hope to influence change in other countries till we create this change in our own. I would also like to speak to the consequences for U.S. consumers or commercial anglers. Studies have shown that seafood is a highly elastic commodity that is easily substituted for other goods. In general, billfish is a niche product here in the U.S. and much of it is sold in processed form so that banning imports would merely cause consumers to shift to any number of readily available species of fish. The only U.S. commercial fishery for billfish occurs in Hawaii and adjacent Pacific insular areas. This bill carves out this region and would allow the continued harvest and sale of billfish within these areas. In summary, billfish populations are in decline globally. The highly migratory nature of these fish means that strong international conservation measures are critical to their survival. Passing H.R. 2706 would make the United States part of the solution by effectively ending the importation of billfish from foreign countries and strengthening the U.S. position to sanction enhanced protection for these nomadic fish. This would directly benefit U.S. recreational anglers who already spend considerable sums of money on boat, tackle, fuel, tournaments, and other goods, both here and abroad. Recreational for fishing for billfish was started in the U.S. and is truly an American tradition. So is billfish conservation. The International Game Fish Association and its members strongly urge the passage of the Billfish Conservation Act of 2011. Thank you, committee.